Beginning today, my mornings are yours. The hopes that dawn in their light. Beginning today, my evenings and dreams. My gift to you is my life. I will always remember the time you first called me out of my empty sleep. Awaken in me the hope of a new day, the love I wanted to see. Beginning today, my mornings are yours, the hopes that dawn in their light. Beginning today, my evenings and dreams, my gift to you is my I promise this day I will sing for the world the song we begin to share. To fill up tomorrow with sounds of our love, Lord, the hopes and dreams that we bear. Beginning today, my mornings are yours, the hopes that dawn in their light. Beginning today, my evenings and dreams, my gift to you is my love. Blessings and peace to you, beloved of God. It seemed most appropriate for us to begin today on this first Monday of the first month of a new year with that beautiful song, Beginning Today. An opportunity for us to take all that we are and all that we have and offer it to the Lord. This is Father Michael along with the rest of the team, and you're praying with us here at the God Minute. Welcome. Let us begin as we do all things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and And my my mouth mouth shall shall declare declare your praise. praise. reading from the first letter of John, chapter 2, verse 28. And now, children, remain in the Lord, so that when he appears we may have confidence and not be put to shame by him at his coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, my friends. I hope you all have been enjoying the Christmas octave and have been able to celebrate the birth of our Lord with your family and friends. This is always such a wonderful time of year because I'm always filled with so much joy and love after the holiday season. It's almost like I could take on the whole world by myself if I wanted to. The challenge, of course, is how do I continue bringing this joy, this love that Christ showed us on Christmas, and take it into the rest of the year. Speaking of the rest of the year, I'm sure most of you have set New Year's resolutions. I do a similar practice, but I like to call them New Year goals. By taking the time to look at what I've accomplished in the last year, and what do I want to accomplish in the new year, it's a great opportunity for me to take inventory of where I'm at in life. This, of course, applies not only to my personal and professional life, but my spiritual life as well. In our reading from today, I think it's a really interesting one for after Christmas, as after first glance, it seems to lend itself almost more so to Advent. Nonetheless, it remains very applicable, even more so after the Advent season, as we begin this new year. So given all this, it's time to first ask ourselves, where are we? If the Lord were to come today, would we have confidence in the fact that he is here. I know for myself, there are areas in my life where I think, yeah, I'm good. And there are areas where I look 
at, and I think they could definitely use some work. First, thinking of those areas where I am close to the Lord and where He has been present in my life over the past year, and then thinking about where is there room for improvement and where can I continue to give things that I'm holding on to and give them to Christ so that I can continue growing closer to him throughout this coming year. So my friends, as we begin this new year, be proud of how you have grown closer to Jesus over the last 365 days. Thank him for being present in those parts of your life and ask him to continue transforming it and purifying it. Then take some time and pray with him and ask him where he wants your life to go in the coming year. Don't be afraid of his answer. Open your heart. Trust in his plan and allow him to transform your life. Let us pray for God's direction in our life in the coming year and ask that we might be able to faithfully listen to his voice and follow his commands in order to accomplish his will as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your people, O Lord, we pray, unshakable strength of faith, so that all who profess that your only begotten Son is with you forever in your glory and was born of the Virgin Mary in a body truly like our own, may be freed from present trials and given a place in abiding gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thanks so much for joining us in prayer today. I hope you had a chance yesterday to listen to um, Father Ron's Breaking Open the Word. There was a lot of beautiful information that he gave us and um, opportunities for us in the new year to grow in holiness. So if you haven't listened to it, take a minute, go back, listen to it on our YouTube channel and uh, and join us in those moments of grace and blessing. In the meantime, take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow. Beginning today, my mornings are yours, the hopes that dawn in their light. Beginning today, my evenings and dreams, my gift to you. My gift to you is my love.